the fastest speed that I've seen in North America comes from a Nokia AEUB MM wave radio. This is running on a Verizon 5G ultra wide network, tested with an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and later in the video, updated with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This night test was performed in a residential neighborhood on a tower with modular shrouds made by Conceal Fab. These are quite common. We are using the Phoenix NAP data center speed test to achieve over 4 gig. As you can see, it's pulling that right now in the test, and we only have 4 out of 5 bars on the 5G ultra wide network. And now for the upload test. In addition to the standard speed test, I'm going to run a Wi-Fi man test from Unify to see if we can get any different results. As you can see, the Unify test is giving us half of the speed of the speed test, so we'll just go ahead and stick with the speed test for the remaining results. After several tests, I noticed something strange. One of the radios had an external fan that kicked on and was very loud. Before all the testing, the fan was completely silent and you could not hear the tower at all. However, this sustained throughout the night. So let's continue a speed test and see if we get better results. Well, look at that. Still getting a, just over 4 gig. Well, maybe let's see if the upload gets any better. Well, look at that. It seems that the fan helped the upload speeds because I just gained about another 100 meg. For the next test, I brought a Wi-Fi 6 enabled laptop and connected it to the iPhone with compatibility mode turned off. This got me about 600 to 800 megs at the most. I also tried a USB cord which only yielded about 2 to 300 megs, so Wi-Fi 6 was the best option to use the 5G ultrawide. Here is another tower in the neighborhood that we tested. This tower uses the exact same hardware as the other one and is located three blocks away. It is connected via Cox fiber optics and all of the hardware is located in manholes underground. There is no external hardware that you can see other than the Nokia antennas themselves. The other AT&T 5G towers are much more intrusive and obtrusive. They have hardware everywhere and cabinets that make the street look pretty ugly in the neighborhood. Here is an example of a tower about three miles away where it has the power cabinet located right next to the tower. Underground manholes can be seen with the fiber optic cable. However, the other locations have this power cabinet located out of the way and out of sight. And there you can see the Nokia antennas covered and their shrouds. Let's see a speed test in this location. So far across town, I'm getting consistent speeds. Now let's dive into the models of the antennas themselves and the shrouds that you can see here. All of this is on the internet and is easy to pull up if you're curious to find out more, but I figured I'd just show a little bit of information as to why I heard that loud fan noise, because I wanted to know myself. This is a pretty small and discreet design, like I said, compared to the other footprints from other carriers. Here's the radio that is behind the shroud. This is the Nokia AEUB. Here's some Google images with it inside the shroud. You'll probably see these in your community just depending on the state and region, but they're pretty common here in the Southwest. And uh, it seems to do the job pretty well, as you can tell from the speed test results. 
apparently the FCC releases these PDF files showing detailed information in regards to the model, the design, the shape, and even the testing of the product. So I just briefly skimmed through them real quick just to give you guys an idea and uh, see what you think of them. Um, it looks like they are connected through the bottom through some SFP modules, uh, LC or SC there. And there's a nice uh, radio frequency room. They're doing some testing on the different bands all the way up to the uh, 28 gigahertz, which is that uh, millimeter wave. And uh, that's what's giving us those high, high bandwidth speed test results. So this technology seems to be a few years old now. Between the iPhone 13 and iPhone 14, let's do a modern test. Here is present day, 2023, just in the middle of February, at the same site that we ran several tests before, about a year ago. This is now on an iPhone 14 Pro Max on the same Verizon network, getting about 3 out of 5 to 4 out of 5 bars on the 5G ultra-wide network. Let's go ahead and start a test now. It looks like we're losing about half a gig speed over the year. And this is due to all the new 5G home internet users, which use two different types of modems, one with the ultra-wide frequency and one with just the standard 5G frequency. However, you can see with the iPhone 14, the upload has significantly increased with the new chipset. 